The CZ P10C versus the Glock Gen 519. Let's check it out. been a lot of excitement over Glock's introduction of the new Gen 5. Uh, we have a Gen 5 19 right here that we just did a review on and down in the comments there were a lot of requests to compare it to the CZ P10C. So we're going to compare a lot of the features, we're going to look at some of the size differences and also we're going to shoot them side by side at the range and once we get through hopefully this will help you if you're looking at either one of these pistols to make a more informed decision. The Glock Gen 5 19 versus the CZ P10C. One thing that I've always said for a number of years, if I could only own one pistol, it would be the Glock 19. Honestly, that's not really changed a lot. The durability, just the simplicity of the Glock makes it extremely appealing. The size is perfect. You know, a lot of companies have tried to mimic the size with the 15 in one and they just can't do it. I mean, they're always a little bit longer, a little bit thicker, just something. So I'm not a Glock tard and I'm not a Glock fanboy, but I just know that these guns work very well. And then the CZ P10C came out. Uh, just an excellent pistol, very ergonomic. I'm a huge CZ fan. I'm a big fan of their grip um, because they're just ergonomic. Uh, one thing too is, is the trigger on the P10C is phenomenal. Now there's been some debate, but to me, it's the best trigger on the market. We compared this directly with the PPQ and the CZ P10C came out on top. A couple of things about these pistols that we're just going to look at them head to head because they deserve it. Now first off, they are both excellent firearms and two of my favorites in my collection. But what we're really going to do today is, is look at a lot of the features, some of the differences. And so if you're looking for one of these pistols, it may give you some information to be able to choose a little more wisely. First thing I will say though is, is go to your local gun shop that has both of these pistols in stock and put them in your hands. And even better yet, if you get to shoot them, that's even better. So first thing we want to do is make sure the guns are loaded. We're going to move the magazines, check the chambers. And they're empty. Both guns have a 15 in 1 magazine capacity. Uh, the CZ is a steel magazine while the Glock is your standard polymer magazine. They both have the orange followers which makes it nice. Uh, CZ comes with two magazines, Glock comes with three. Another big difference here is the CZ magazines are about 38 bucks or $39. Whereas the Glock magazines are coming in about $19 or about half the price. So that definitely right there is an advantage with Glock. But we turn around and look at the price of these pistols and the retail price on these is around $600. But I think on Gun Pro deals right now they have them for $559. Uh, the P10C is running about $477. So you've got a pretty substantial difference in price up front. Now you can go with the Gen 3 and get it down to about the $499 range or so. But that'll give you a good idea of the price comparison. Both are striker fire, both are polymer frame, both have interchangeable back straps, both fit the same holsters. Here I have a US Grunt Gear Kydex holster, fits in very nicely. The CZ P10C fits right in the Glock 19 holster. While there are a lot of similarities, there are a lot of differences, and one of the big things is size. With the rear of the slides and the frames flush, you can see the CZ comes out just a little bit longer. But one thing you'll notice is that you're getting a lot more relief right here to get your hand up closer to the slide than you do with the Glock. Uh, the beaver tail area right here comes up really high. With the Glock, it's a lot more abbreviated. But with that being said, you can add a back strap that has a slight beaver tail with it. 
We're going to attach it. And so here you have a nice beaver tail with your Glock. So that can be easily remedied if you like this little area. But with that advantage, the Glock actually sticks out just a touch over the P10C. Then the length of your grip is extended on the P10C one quarter of an inch. I measured this out. Uh, so you're going to get a little bit of a length of extension here. And in your standard mode, you're going to get a little bit of length and extension on the P10C. But that's actually going to give you a little more sight radius with the P10C. The way the sight comes all the way back, so we're mating it to the back sight. And then just a touch longer slide, you have, again, more sight radius. Front strap to front strap, you're going to have a little more extension toward the end with the Glock. And again, here you can see how it's coming out forward. Uh, but your CZ P10C comes out a little bit here, gives you a little more of a grip. Uh, right at the palm. And the P10C is a little thicker here. There's some palm swells that give it a little thickness, which you don't have with the Glock. But I'll tell you guys, when you put these in your hand, the CZ P10C has a little more ergonomic. It just fits the hand very nicely, whereas the Glock is a little more squared off. And of course, you get that nickname, the Block. Uh, but without the finger grooves, and then with this magazine whale, which is flared, it's really got a much better grip. In fact, this is a, an excellent grip. Also, with the pyramid texturing that you have, uh, with the CZ, you have some really nice texturing as well. On the sides, they're pretty much about the same as far as aggressiveness, but at the front and back strap, your CZ has a little more texture and a little more grippability. Now, the magazine well has been expanded out with the Glock, much larger than your CZ, but you do have a bevel with your CZ Magwell. Uh, I haven't had any trouble inserting mags in here, but I'll tell you, with this Glock extended Magwell, it makes it really nice to be able to change mags. And the new Glock mag has an extended lip right here to allow for malfunction drills. If you need to pull this or rip this out, it gives it a little more uh, area right here. And of course, this cut in the front strap and then here at the back strap, it makes it really nice to be able to just rip those out if you need to. On the CZ, it's actually on the side, and it's beveled here, and you're able to get that mag out if you need to, uh, but really, it's just a different way to do it. The weight on the Glock 19 Gen 5 is 24 ounces, while on the CZ P10C, it's 26 ounces. Now, as I've stated, the CZ P10C trigger is one of the best striker fire triggers on the market. So we're going to double check, make sure the gun is unloaded, and it is. The take up is very smooth. There's no grittiness. You hit a wall, and then a nice crisp snap. Reset is super fast. I mean, just right there, and then we're back to it. Guns are loaded. Now with the Glock, they did improve the trigger. Uh, in fact, I really like this trigger for a Glock. Uh, we have some, not as much take up, but it hits kind of a wall here, and then we have a snap. It's a definite improvement. Uh, but you still have that stacking. The CZ has a superior trigger, but this is a much improved trigger for Glock. Reset. Right there. Which is typical for Glock. Not quite as nice as your CZ P10C. As far as trigger pull weight. Four pounds, 13.3 ounces. And that's about typical. With the Glock... Six pounds, 4.5 ounces. And again, that is actually pretty typical. Because the trigger is so crisp, it belies the weight. Uh, it makes it really nice at the range. But the P10C is definitely a superior trigger. You'll also notice the P10C has a little more of a flatter trigger, whereas the Glock still has the rounded trigger, but it is a smooth shoe. But on the P10C, you have a three dot luminescent sight that's made of steel. On the Glock, you have your polymer sights. Uh, with it framed in, which is typical for Glock. Uh, these are a little larger than the original Gen 3 and Gen 4, uh, and I, I actually I like these sights a little better. Uh, but Glock is also offering a couple of extra different options for your sight that will be in metal, and of course there'll be an upcharge for that. You've got a little higher bore axis because of the sight. Another thing is you'll have a lot more aftermarket choices with your Glock than you will with the CZ at this time. The CZ has ambidextrous magazine release, whereas the Glock, you can change it from side to side. Uh, your slide lock is a little smaller on the Glock than it is on the P10C, 
Um, one of the things that they've also done with the Glock is they've extended it and those are also now ambidextrous. So again, your slide stop is on the other side as well. The accessory rails are almost the same. They come with just one slot. And the trigger guard on the P10C is a little bit larger, especially if you're wearing gloved hands. And you can see the trigger actually comes back just a little bit more than the Glock does. Now we have front slide serrations on the CZ, no front slide serrations on the Glock Gen 5. And these slide serrations are more aggressive than they are on the Glock. They're deeper and they're cut at somewhat of an angle, a little easier to get to. Now Glock's put the NDLC coating on here, which is over a tenifer like finish. And it's supposed to be super durable, but it makes it just a little bit slicker than the originals. Uh, so that could play, even though I had no trouble grabbing that slide, it wasn't near as aggressive as the CZ. Now Glock has beveled the front of their slide, which makes it nice. Uh, they didn't bevel the frame right here, which has been a big sore spot for a lot of people. Uh, but also the CZ has cuts along the slide. So the slide is more rounded off than your standard Glock. The CZ slide is just a tiny bit thicker, but it's more flush with the frame. One of the things about the Glock a lot of people don't consider is this swell right here in the frame, which makes it wider than your CZ. We have 1.17 inches in width, including the frame. With the CZ, it's right down to 1.1 inches. So you've got a little bit of thickness difference right here that does add to it. But honestly, guys, it's really a moot point. I mean, from day to day and from shootability, that's really not that important. For backstrap options with the CZ, you get three different options, small, medium, and large. With the Gen 5 Glock, you get the small, which is without a back strap, and then you have two mediums and two larges, each one with the beaver tail option. So you have five choices with your Glock, whereas you just have three with the CZ. We're gonna be using some Freedom Munitions Pro Match and also the American Steel. And I wanna thank Freedom Munitions for sending the ammo. Uh, you get a 5% discount using Suit Zero Zero at freedommunitions.com. Now down here at the range, we wanted to shoot them side by side to see what kind of differences we would get, uh, you know, in a comparison head to head. Uh, one of the first things I noticed was the grip. On the CZ grip, of course, you've got a different grip configuration like we've shown on the table. Uh, but it's definitely thinner, and so it seems to be a little more ergonomic. I mean, it seems like I can get my hand around it a little better. And with that slide coming back over the web of my hand a little more than on the Glock. Now, again, the Glock, I've been shooting these for years, and so I have a lot of time and um, ammo invested in these guns. And so I can usually shoot this one pretty well, but it is a little bit thicker, and uh, even though I have the smaller back strap or no back strap on here, it still rides in the hand very well. It still feels like a Glock, shoots like a Glock, but there's something about it that's a little different than some of the previous generations. Um, now, side by side, as far as just the recoil pulse, they're pretty much the same. I mean, there's just not a lot of difference when you're shooting. I noticed that the sights on the Glock, I was able to kind of pick those up a little bit uh, just because of the way it's framed in. But on the CZ with the three dot sights, it's really easy as well. Now, one thing I was surprised about for me was that I was more accurate with the Glock. It just seemed I had a couple of flyers with the CZ. I was shooting a little low here and there. Now, one thing I will say is that I've been shooting these, in fact, I've owned Glock since 1998. So I have a lot of rounds, tens of thousands of rounds through these pistols. Whereas with the CZ, I probably have about 700 rounds through it. So I'm still kind of getting myself into this pistol. Uh, but, and then too, I've done a lot of Glock reviews lately. So, um, you know, that may be something, but really the guns are spot on. I mean, when I was doing my part, even with the CZ, it was where I was pointing. Now, one thing I do want to point out is the slide release on the Glock. It's just real easy to get that. And they've extended that just a little bit with the Gen 5. With the CZ P10C, the slide release 
is tough. I mean, it's tough to get a hold and to drop. Now, if you have a loaded magazine in here, it won't be. I mean, it'll be easier to drop. One thing, though, that I definitely noticed was the trigger. And on the CZP-10C, the trigger was just so crisp. Um, it is really a joy. The reset is really fast. Uh, on the Glock now, the new Gen 5 Glock, the trigger's better than it has been on the previous models. Uh, so while there wasn't a huge difference like it would be if it was a Gen 3 or 4, uh, it was still noticeable. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat the P10C trigger, in my opinion. It's one of the best on the market. In fact, I compared it in a video with the PPQ, and um, it was hands down a better trigger. And I want to thank ShootSteel.com for providing the targets. Uh, you can get a 10% discount using Suits00 at ShootSteel.com. We're going to disassemble the firearms. Uh, they disassemble pretty much in the same way. Uh, we pull our trigger, bring it back about an eighth of an inch, and drop these little tabs. And then the slide just comes right off. Recoil spring, guide rod, and your barrel. On the P10C... Drop the tabs, got your recoil spring, and we got our barrel. On the CZ guide rod, it's a polymer, single flat spring. I like the flat spring, it does aid in recoil. Uh, then we have the Glock recoil spring. This is a dual spring system. It is captive, and it's also polymer. Uh, you can see the difference in your barrels, and it looks like that the Glock barrel from the side has a little more going on here. But the P10C is definitely thicker and more beefed up right here at the ramp. In fact, this is a cold hammer forged barrel, and it's just excellent quality. Of course, Glock barrels are just fantastic. In my earlier review, I'd stated that Glock had gone from the polygonal grooves to lands and grooves, and that's not the case. After doing some research, uh, they have just improved their hexagonal barrel system, and then, of course, with the crowned uh, recessed muzzle really helps. Uh, and so this makes it supposedly from Glock more accurate, and they call it their marksman barrel. Uh, with the CZ, you can see that it's just the standard lands and grooves, but CZ makes really good quality barrels. Now, CZs have typically had internal slide rails in the frame, uh, but they went away with that with the P10C. One thing you will notice, though, is the locking block on the Glock is here, and then the rails are here embedded into the polymer. On the CZ, the locking block includes the rails, and they are a little more beefed up, and then here at the back, the CZ rails are a little bit longer than they are on the Glock. But there are definitely some differences in design between these two pistols. As well as on the slides, you have your firing pin safety plunger, which used to be just a dome, and now it's been cut. More like the Glock 43, it makes the trigger pull a lot better. And I think that may have a lot to do with why the trigger pull is as good as it is. You have your firing pin safety on your CZ right back here. So just a little bit of a different design, but yet pretty much the same concept. And reassembly is just in reverse order. Now, let's just go over each of the differences between these two pistols. Uh, with the Glock, you have a little shorter frame, shorter slide. It weighs a couple of ounces less. Now, with the CZ P10C, two ounces not a big deal. It's about a quarter of an inch in either direction. But one thing that you are getting with the CZ is an extended or a more pronounced beaver tail right here to get your hand closer up to the pistol. Uh, if you add your beaver tail to the Glock, then it makes it just as long, if not a little bit longer, than the CZ. The frame texturing on the Glock is a little less aggressive than it is on the P10C, but I find the P10C to be very nice. I mean, it's a good, solid grip. Now, with ergonomics, I feel that the P10C has a little more going for it with its grip. I like this high ride right here. I like the little bit of a palm swell. And with here, it just it feels smaller, and yet it's not. It's a little thinner this way, but not a whole lot. Uh, with the Glock, it's pretty much squared off, and there's a little bit here toward the back. Uh, but it's funny because with the flared magwell and without the finger grooves, this fits my hand much better than the Gen 4 or 3. So, And that's just my preference. But I think it's one of those things that you need to put these side by side and check how they feel in your hand. Uh, the mag release is only on one side, whether it's right or left, wherever you want to put it. Uh, with the CZ, you get a dual mag release, and it is metal. 
that your slide stop is ambidextrous now on the Glock and ambidextrous on the P10C. You get front slide serrations on the P10C, which you don't get on the Glock. I don't typically use front slide serrations that often, except maybe for press checks. And it was really something interesting that James Jaeger said was just check your loaded chamber indicator and that way you can feel it even in the dark. And that's an excellent point. The barrel is a little more beefed up in the P10C and the trigger is definitely superior. Now, if you're like me and I've shot tens of thousands of rounds through Glocks, uh, the trigger is fine. I can shoot it very well. In fact, I was shooting the gun just as well as I was the P10C. Now, one thing that's really amazing to me is that how similar the guns shoot or feel. Uh, at the range, I really expected more of a difference uh, between the two, but side by side, there was very little difference in the way the gun shot and felt in my hand. You do get three magazines with the Glock, and you get two magazines with the P10C. The P10C magazines are about twice the price of your Glock mags. The plastic sights on the Glock versus the steel sights on the P10C. Uh, one advantage though that Glock's going to have, not only with sights, but with a lot of other things, is aftermarket support. You're going to be able to get a lot of different sight choices with your Glock. Uh, but also you're going to be able to get, it sooner or later, triggers, disconnectors, and all the different things that people offer for your Glock if you're into doing all that. The Glock does have the extended mag well, which is a nice advantage. And of course, with the way that you strip these out for a malfunction or different from the side and from the front, and that's just a choice. One thing about the Glock though, it has this cutout, which is a little bit large. And if you're not careful, could possibly pinch your hand, especially if you have meaty hands. I haven't found that to be the case, but that is a possibility. The fit and finish of these two handguns is excellent. I mean, they are both high quality firearms. Uh, guys, I'll tell you, the best thing to do is to really take each one and put it in your hand and see how you like it, how the natural point of aim is. Uh, one thing that I've found, because I have shot Glock so much, is that I've adapted my grip. Uh, but with the P10C, it has a very natural feel to it. Uh, so, which one would I choose? Well, I've chosen both of them, and I love both of them. Uh, which one am I going to carry? I will probably carry the Glock just because I've had a lot of experience with it. For you, I think especially someone that hasn't had quite as much experience, I think you're going to like the P10C a little more. I think it has a lot of features to it that are improvement over the Glock uh, with the grip and the way it feels, uh, with the trigger and some things like that. So it's definitely up to preference. And guys, it's up to preference no matter what. There are guys that are going to choose the SIG P226 period. And, you know, that, that's their preference. And you're going to have other guys that are going to want the HKVP9, which is also an excellent pistol. Uh, so there are so many different ways to go. And that's one of the reasons why I want to show the comparison, not to say one over the other, because they're both excellent and they're both ergonomic, they're reliable, and they're accurate. The big thing is now it gets down to personal preferences. So with the differences between these two, what works best for you? And price of the pistol is definitely a big difference. Uh, with the Gen 5 Glocks, uh, they're retailing for over $600. But again, on Gun Pro Deals, I saw them for $559. In fact, that's where I got this Glock Gen 5. Uh, with the P10C, uh, same website, $477. So you can see that it's a considerable amount of difference, about a $75 plus dollar difference between the two. Now guys, like I always say, check out other reviews, look and see what people are saying. It really helps to you know, give you a well-rounded decision when making a firearm purchase. And plus, again, it keeps the YouTube gun community honest, and that's really what we want. And again, I want to thank GunProDeals.com for sending the Gen 5 for me to do the review. Uh, they also have the CZ P10C on their website. Uh, it's, they're great to deal with, and they have a lot of specials that are just over the top. So check out GunProDeals.com. And I also want to thank them for sponsoring the channel. It really helps me to get a lot of different guns to bring to you for review. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Now, as far as the, now just to, 
Now to go through this way. <laughs> this way, this way thicker. The Glock has that same Glock. Okay, that just sounds like a bunch. Very snug. Okay. <laughs> These are two excellent pistols. I'll just say it up front. Uh, they're both just great, freaking awesome, totally incredible. The universe is actually shifted because of these two pistols.